Guess what, folks? It's freaking Sunday. So my orange juice lady is not working today. What the heck? <laughs> so I'm on my way to do the mirror door with the little puppies again, the dirty mutts. And I, should I go the hard way or the easy way? Okay, we'll do the hard way today. But I wanted to put out a call again to all you billion fans of Naked Jaguar tours. <laughs> the one billion fans. <laughs> Why is that funny to me? I have no idea. What the hell do you want me to shoot videos of now? I've kind of lost my train, my focus, and I need your help, okay? I am not willing to pay you a dime, <laughs> but if you have anything specifically, I know someone I was asking about wanting to see a um, some of the Gringo Gulch, which I haven't done yet, um, but is there anything specifically you want to see um, that I can help you with? Look at those cuties. Let me know. What the hell should I do next? <laughs> okay? And I'm thinking of doing a YouTube live, never done one in my frickin' life, where I can answer any questions you might have, because I know so much about Vallarta. Not. Look at that cutie. Oh, I met that one the other day. Anyways, that's the story. Give me some ideas, please, that are something I could actually do. And uh, that's it. Have a great day. Don't forget, we gotta go up there. <laughs> Anos! Buenos dias. I'm sweating up a storm here. Just did the Mirador in Puerto Vallarta with my little buddy Shorty. He was missing in action and a miracle happened and now we've got Shorty back. But that's not what this story is about, folks. Um, so yesterday, I was actually looking for Shorty <laughs> again. And Vallarta is full of stairs and I was going up and down really steep stairs for hours and I hadn't eaten anything I think I had had coffee but um and then I decided to go look at an apartment that I met uh, some men that own an apartment they have an opening and a friend's coming and needs a place to stay so I wanted to see the apartment again I'm like going up million stairs, walking in circles, and I don't know what the hell it is, but I never know how to use Google Maps. <laughs> it just like, doesn't work for me, I don't even know. But, um, so I get up, I'm lost up in the back hills. Hi, yes, I'm talking to myself. Buenos dias. <laughs> and, uh, I'm like starving and I'm tired and it's hot and I have these two street dogs following me around, Charlie and Smiley. I'm trying to make sure they're safe because we we had to cross like the this busy road and all this shit. And I'm up in this, way up, and Vallarta is full of layers and layers and layers of homes. Home on home on stairs. You go up another flight of steep stairs and there's another cluster of amazing places and it's just like I thought I knew Vallarta and yesterday I'm like I know nothing <laughs> it is dense here so but I kind of hit a wall because I could not for the life of me find this freaking apartment and this man and I asked all sorts of people like where the frick is this place <laughs> help me and I was running out of steam I was starting to get super hangry <laughs> because I hadn't eaten and I was working out for three hours straight or whatever the hell it was. 
And this man comes walking up to me and I'm like, help me. I'm, I can't fucking take it anymore. <laughs> Look, I've been looking for this address for 200 years and I'm starving to death. And he's like, okay, sweetheart. Okay, okay, let me see what, and he literally took me under his wing and started working for me. This complete stranger started going, okay, let's figure this out. And we're looking around and he's checking the addresses and he's checking his phone. You know, just this beautiful dude. And he turns out he's from Newfoundland, Canada in the Maritimes. And I'm from Canada, what do you know? But on the other side of the continent, of the country. And um, so, I'm gonna try to tell you this story. I swear to God, I'm gonna get it out. This guy helps me find the apartment and it was hard to find because it was behind a giant wall. So it looked, it was invisible practically because it looked like nothing was there. And this guy, we go up to look at the apartment and it turns out he had a freaking heart transplant. He had a genetic heart disorder. His heart looked like shredded meat. Do you know why I know that? Because he showed me a freaking picture of it. He showed me video footage of his graphic warning, graphic details of his chest open during surgery where they're removing his old shitty heart. No offense, not shitty, just damaged. And putting in this beautiful huge heart and the, the, the foot is just literally his chest is open and the heart's like boom, 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 this giant heart it was disgusting like I, I mean I was like having a hard time looking at this footage but at the same time like here I am with this beautiful man I had already experienced how big his heart is I'm gonna start crying just telling the story he was helping me <laughs> he even was like Honey, I've got to start as in my bag. I'm just like you. Um, and if I don't eat, I get hangry. <laughs> and so he pulls out some food and gives me a freaking tostada so I don't have a meltdown while he's helping me find this freaking apartment. So this beautiful man, if you happen to see this, thank you. People are beautiful. And I'm so bloody blessed all the time to get that kind of love. So this guy got a great big new heart and he's super healthy. Wanna see us? And uh, hello. And, uh, and I got to experience it. That's the story. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Madonna. Beautiful. Guess what? I'm in Boca again with Shorty and Smiley. And my amigo Victor is on his last couple days before he heads back to the USA. So we're all going with him to Kimixto for a send off soiree. And like I said, we got both dogs here. I don't think uh, friend, I, friendly Smiley has ever been on a panga, so this is gonna be a riot. And uh, Shorty last time was shaking like a lunatic because he was so scared. But anyway, we're gonna take the dogs on the boat and see what happens. Let's go to Kimixto, Amaga, Amigas. Water's pretty rough today. There's giant swells, and there's actually people actually uh, surfing here in Phoenix, though. But uh, Smiley did surprisingly well on the panga. She like relaxed completely <laughs> into the whole thing, whereas Shorty was his heart was like pounding out of his chest. So 
that's the story. We made it to Kimixto and hopefully we can get home because water's pretty ep epic. Yeah, just leave her here. Don't be a dog. What's happening? Buenos dias from sunny Puerto Vallarta. It's another gorgeous morning. I'm heading up to the mirador. Oh shit, look at my hair. Okay, how about this? That's better. But first, I'm going into the Church of Guadalupe because I like to go in there and just give thanks for all the billion blessings in my life. I was raised with this much religion. And the church is closed. What does it mean? Oh no, it's not. But the cool thing about it is the last time I went in there, I'm here with Shorty and Smiley. Or Shorty, there. And they don't seem to mind if they come in with me, so it's pretty funny. <laughs> See you later. Don't forget to pray. <laughs> oh my God, look at this dog. Gonna scratch your fleas and pray? Okay. <laughs> what is happening? There's always something. having a quick mini walkies along the Melicon. Look at this beautiful view behind me. I've got Shorty and Smiley in tow. But I thought I'd let you know that um, my tours are starting to kick ass. People are hearing more, hearing about them and wanting to go touring with me. So if you are interested in a Naked Jaguar tour with a local celeb, just joking. Look at how pretty the ocean is. Give me a jingle. You can just contact me through YouTube or um, my email. You know how it is. Zenaudra at yahoo.com. And we can, uh, whip, we can whip up a tour for you, specially designed for your needs and desires. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just let me know and we'll we'll work it out it, it will be a lot of fun and the dogs might be there we don't know probably not and that's it you have yourself a glorious day I sure as hell am let's go what do you think shorties stay out of the bike lane everybody Vámonos.
Who's a cutie? Huh? There you go. Frickin' flea bags. Yo cats, I'm taking the back route back home from the mirror door. If you want something new, you can head down this route and it's kind of just a fun option instead of the stairs to go back down. But I want to tell you this funny story. So whenever I, I usually take the stairs up to the mirror door <clears throat> and I go to the very top of the actual lookouty thing. And that's my entire exercise regime. Except that I walk my ass off all over Vallarta every single day and there's stairs everywhere. So that's what I call my, <laughs> that's my exercise routine. Anyway, there's also the cross up on the mirror door there. And if you go to that platform and look out the backside, you can see the backside of Vallarta, which is very beautiful up the valley and over the river, essentially. So every day when I do the mirror door, I go over to that lookout by the cross and I look out and I do a gratitude practice and just say thanks for the, like I said, quadrillion blessings that I have in my life and continue to have. I thank all the people that have been in my life now and in the past that have helped me. I thank Mexico and the sun and my health, the health of my family, and thanks for Shirty and Smiley's companionship and just all the billion blessings that I have in my life. Every day I go there and say them and just say thank you. Like I said, I'm not a religious person, but I feel called to do that. And it's a great way to, uh, great daily practice. If you aren't trying it now, do it. Give it a shot where you can write down all the things you're grateful for. And let me tell you, back in the day, I remember the first time I heard that was probably from Oprah. <laughs> I'm not like a huge Oprah lover, so whoever made that Oprah comment before, relax, dude. Um, she said something like, write down six grat you know, great things you're grateful for before you go to bed. And I remember when I heard that, which was probably around 2000, a long fucking time ago. I didn't even know what the word meant. That's how bad it was in my life. I didn't know. And I didn't know how to feel grateful. I didn't know. I wasn't taught that. I wasn't raised with any religion. And as far as I know, gratitude is a big part of Christianity. I might be wrong, but that's what I've sort of seen, experienced, witnessed. So really, I didn't know what the fuck that was. I didn't know what it was to be thankful. I really didn't. Sounds crazy, but I hadn't been raised that way at all. Not at all. In fact, I was kind of raised to be like, life's hard and shitty, and that's the way it is. So it's taken me a long time to get to the place where when I do the gratitude practice, I feel it. And it's beautiful. And the more I do it, the more beautiful my life gets it seems hola buenos dias good morning para la mañana <laughs> see 
Okay, so that's that. But oh shit, I'm supposed to tell you this funny story. So I'm at my little lookout point doing my gratitude practice saying thanks for all the blessings in my life. And then I, this dude behind me, I hear him go, pardon? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, fuck. And he goes, pardon? And I'm like, I'm doing my gratitude practice. I was focused. He goes, pardon? And I turn around and I go, I just stare at him. And he's like, can you please take a picture of me and my wife? And I'm like, I'm doing my gratitude practice. I'm talking to God and you're interrupting me, you know? So, I, <laughs> ironical, don't you think? Um, so I just want to say sorry to you, dude. I should have just helped you out because <laughs> I could have taken a breather, but I was determined to do my gratitude practice. So there's that, you know, don't be an asshole. That's the message to me that I'm giving myself right now. <laughs> I think I was having a funky morning, so I was like really hoping I could turn things around. Anyways, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I gotta go.